Hi folks, we're out here on 4th Avenue again for our third night in a row of Sonoran Dog Tasting. My name's Eddie Salaya. And I'm Janelle Ash. And we're out here in front of Zeppelin Dogs. It's right in front of El Mali's and Maloney's on that part of 4th Avenue. We're gonna be trying out Sonoran Dogs for one more night. We're gonna hit here, Congress Avenue, and we're just looking for the best dog that we can find. Come and join us. All right, so we are here with the Zeppelin Dogs. We ordered three, they gave us four. Um, Two of these are supposedly bratwurst uh, filled, and the other one has hot dogs in it. Um, this is my mom right here, Samantha, Samantha Longenbaum, and her husband, Eric Longenbaum. They are going to be our guests, our cameo taste testers on this. So, mom, what do you what do you think? Just looking at it, what are you looking forward to? You know what? She's feeding this with her eyes first. It is beautiful. The smell is delicious. These are mesquite grilled. A bratwurst and a beef hot dog. We can't wait to dig in, huh? So this is the solid egg. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. I think number one, the quality of the hot dog, the quality of the, the bun. Yeah. Mm. It all just kind of comes together, get no, together to give you just probably wow. the best traditional style snoring hot dog I've had forever. So, what do you think, Janelle? Mom? Okay, I tried the hot dog and the bratwurst together. This is a nine. This is delicious. Wow. It really is. Actually. Yeah. Well, they say mother knows best, so uh, we're going to go ahead and enjoy the rest of these. Yeah. Keep following us as we check out the rest of Congress and Fourth Avenue. All right, so we're right here in front of La Cabana del Bambino. Um, this is a little bit different looking of a, a Sonoran dog. There is like a neon green jalapeno sauce that's almost reminiscent of some sort of uh, relish that you'd see on a Chicago hot dog. Uh, for those of you from the Midwest that are more familiar with that style. You ready to dig in? What are your first thoughts on this? Yeah, I'm a little nervous about the sauce, I'm not gonna lie, but I'm excited to try it. All right, here we go. Let's do this. Okay. You can tell the dog is really well done. There's a lot of char on the outside. That's good though. This is sweeter than one yeah. you've had. It's not as spicy as I thought. Mm -hmm. it would be. Very mild. Everything kind of kind of comes together. Mm -hmm. I'm tasting a lot of the tomato. Yeah. I'm not sure. I'm not sure where the sweetness is coming from, but there's definitely, yeah, it's, it's, I'm, not, I'm not really tasting a lot of bacon right now either. Yeah. Let me finish this up, and then we'll get you a, a, an out of 10 rating, but it's interesting. So, the other thing that's a little different, there's a lot more bun to dog. The bun to dog ratio is pretty significant. It's a good grilled bun, but it's a little more bun than I, than I really kind of want in each bite. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and give this one about a seven, just a, a seven to oh right there. I agree seven. Seven, yeah. Um, definitely you get your money's worth. I'd probably want another one or two, just because the dog's a little small. But I'm gonna enjoy the rest of this and we'll see you at our next stop. All right, so this is the Jumbo Yummy Dog. It is actually, instead of where there's usually mayo latest over the top of it, there seems to be some sort of hot mustard. Um, there's definitely jalapenos and a ton of bacon just sprinkled all over it. And cheese. And cheese, yeah, that's, that's, that's totally different. new. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we're definitely intrigued by this one, but this is not your traditional Sonoran dog, so just right off the bat. Ready to dig in? Yes. Take your half. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, this is going to fall all over. Yeah. So we got some, yeah, that's cheese. That's not slaw. I thought that was slaw for a second. Oh, my gosh. All right. I'm going to let you go first with your grade this time, you know. What are you thinking? Um, I think I'm going to get a seven and a half. Seven and a half? Yeah. I'm, I'm not gonna totally disagree. It's a seven, it's a little too sweet mm -hmm. for my liking. 
but it's the most different yeah. Sonoran dog we've had, or, or whatever we want to call this. Jump on that. We're gonna finish this. We're gonna hit one more. Play. So for our last one, we also have what seems to be our most massive and biggest hot dog. This thing's about a foot long. Um, we're here at Fernie's, and they also gave us a little quesadilla to go along with the side. So something to help chase it down with. No, last one. What are you looking forward to here? What are you, what are you thinking? I think they're going to do it with the spice in there. The whole jalapeno right there. And I see that green sauce on top, so I'm excited to try that. Excellent. All right, let's dig into this big old thing. Spicy? Spicy? Um, this is probably the perfect ratio of dog to bun. This is the first traditional style snoring that I think really got it right. Grilled bun, uh, dog's perfect, you taste the bacon, you taste a little bit of that, it's almost like a, it's almost like a, a tomatillo, tomatillo but mixed with like a guacamole almost. All right, so obviously this is a little different than that really unique one we just had. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and round it out with just a seven on this one. It is a little bit better than most of the traditional ones we've had, but it doesn't really stick out, stick out like some of the other more unique dogs. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, so I'll give it a second. Yeah. All right. Well, we're gonna go ahead and kill the rest of these dogs. Then we're gonna head back a mile and a half trip back to the newsroom, where we'll wrap it up for you. You folks have a good evening. All right, folks. We are back here in the newsroom. After having tried nine hot dogs over the last three days, I think one of us, probably me, has a hot dog baby forming in his stomach. Um, Janelle, just having reflecting now on these, all these damn hot dogs. Is there any ones that score you'd like to adjust either up, down? What do you think? Um, I would want to change Americano Mexicano's one, and I would bring it down a little bit. I'd probably give it a seven. Okay, gotcha. You know, that's funny you bring that up because that was the one place I probably would change my score to. It's a great restaurant hot dog. Yeah. As far as a street hot dog, it was all over the place. Um, yeah. Very good carne asada, just carne asada everywhere. Yeah. Um, that being said, what uh, what would you say is your uh, you would be your go-to one of the nine we tried? What's your favorite? Um, definitely Geronimo's Revenge. Yeah. That was like my top one. I think thought that one was the best overall. Just so good. Gotcha. You know, I've got kind of a top three. Um, obviously, I, I kind of told everybody about that traditional Sonoran hot dog, and the last one we tried, Fernie's Taqueria. That was probably my favorite traditional dog. Put that at number three. At number two. I'd probably put uh, the yummy dog that we had. That one was totally unique. Mm -hmm. um, that was the one that had the hot mustard on top with the bacon kind of flaked on. And then my favorite would probably be the Gian Geronimo's Revenge as well. That was yeah. just uh, the first one we started with really last night. Yeah, so um, really could have been the last one we ended <laughs> with. Uh, it was that darn good. Um, but that really wraps up uh, our first Cat Bites uh, Sonoran Hot Dog Adventure. We will be probably exploring pizza next. I think that's the consensus we've come up with. If you think we missed anywhere, if you know of another Sonoran hot dog cart or somewhere here in Tucson that you love, reach out, let us know. And let us know what your favorite pizzas are so that we kind of have an idea before we head out. I think that's going to be it for tonight, huh? Yep, we're calling it night. <laughs> there we go. All right, so for Janelle Ash, I'm Eddie Salaya. This has been Cat Bites for your Daily Wildcat.